yeah, it's a nice event, nice event. It's just really quite chilled. And then nice beer and beer tent and stuff like that. Yeah, so they'll go all come to bits again over the winter months and so. Really? Yeah, yeah, we'll take all the tank, all this tank, the steering gear all comes off, toolboxes and pump and then we'll the, hopefully by then all the lagging we'll better lag it all because we, we just really we leave it all off for a few steamers just to check for leaks and stuff around all the new rivets and what have you but once the lagging goes on you can't see it so right. good. it's been a huge amount of work for you oh yeah yeah we've been doing it it's been yeah, 14 years <laughs> of, uh, um, but it's it's had sort of periods of inactivity we did the lorry there we did that in between that in during that 14 years and so on so there's other guys here there's one here in particular they've built from the ground up it's brand new everything from wheels to so uh, i'm not i'm not uh, i'm not unusual in that front there's, there's guys have done bigger bigger jobs than this here how much of this is new? Um, 25, 30% new. And then all the insides and, and annoyingly we, we didn't renew some bearings. We thought, oh, we'll just leave that because they're easy to get to. We thought we'd just sort of cut something up to save a couple of thousand. Um, but they're knocking like mad and you think, oh, we've done this. Ransom's um, quite a big manufacturer in Ipswich. I think it's about 5,000 guys. This engine was built in 1925, went out in the August to Robert Pusella, who was the agents in Argentina. Approximately just over 100 of these engines were built for the Argentinian sort of South American market. This was the largest of Branson's engines that they built. Um, also capable of ploughing as well. It's very North American in its appearance. A lot of North American features in the way that it operates, um, which is very different from an English built engine. High ground clearance, very tall and leggy, very light in proportion to its size. Large firebox, so it'll burn multi fuel, anything from wood to uh, coal, straw. You can put an adapter on it, so it'll burn literally crude oil. So the Daimler started off, we had a showman's living van on the top of it, which was pretty standard practice for its day because First World War lorries by the late 20s, uh, they'd been and gone. Their old hat, solid tyres, the wheel bearings, bronze, speed limits imposed, axle weights imposed by the Ministry. So those trucks were really quite short lived. The only reason why quite a few of them survived was as trailers. They were just used as four-wheel trailers. In this instance, a showman's living van. And there was a family who lived in it, about four different generations, right up until the late 80s. As with all these old things, you find one, and then I was told of a second one up in Barrow and Furnace with some other parts. So we went up to Barrow and Furnace, bought that, and then combined all the best bits of both finds into, into all in one. Uh, 22, 23 miles an hour. Um, we did go through a speed trap in Belgium at 36k. <laughs> We're quite proud of that. <laughs> Lots of new parts. Very few original bits. In fact, probably chassis wheels, throttle pedal, main gearbox, and then all the bodywork, steering, engines all fresh. We walked up mm. after you because it yeah. felt like if you do that then. Oh, that. Isn't that good? Feel human in the Top notch, Chris.
wait to see it going. <laughs> We've been right amateur with our fire lighting skills. We forgot to bring any kindling. Where are you from? Mersey Island. Oh, Where bats is that? I've never heard of that. Oh, crikey. <laughs> Are you not travelled? <laughs> <laughs> is it down in Essex somewhere? Yeah. It's just on the coast, uh, near Colchester. There's a, there's a gentleman who wants one of them. He might come back later. I couldn't find him. Oh, yeah. well, that's why I couldn't find him. Yeah, they're getting up there. Yeah, they shot me. Ha, Friendly competition. <laughs> yeah, definitely friendly. Jacket. Oh, is it? Is it? Is there's it? six individual heads right, under okay, that, okay. so all the bolts seize up, ring off. So we had to helicoil them all. So there's about, right. I think we did about 18, 20 helicoils on oh, those right. bolts. Right, but no, so we had the, we had the dynamo rewound. That's all done. And that's 1920 then. Yeah. Yeah, run sweeter than that. It's lovely thing, isn't it? It's, it's nice, a magic thing. Yeah, keep your fingers good. Yeah. Lovely, isn't it? It really is a nice thing, isn't it? And that was out of a Daimler car, I suppose. Uh, Willis Knight car. Oh right. Willis Knight. Willis Knight. Maybe. Willis, they're American, aren't yeah. they? Willis. Yeah. As it's the same as Willis Chief. Lovely thing. Yeah. It helps to sleep as well. Yeah, you don't need them everywhere. Spoke to Zenith Carbs, and they list a brand new car for it. So for 300, no. 300, 300 bucks, two days later, I've got a brand new car through the post. Because you save a lot of with money. A, with a manual adjusted check, so it doesn't drip. I think I'll get about 12 or 14 to go.
back at potatoes for, I don't know, 10, maybe 20 people. And then uh, from the butchers at home, a rolled brisket. So we're aiming for five hours at an unknown temperature. So it's going inside the front end? Or? Inside the fire box. Uh, at the front end, in the smoke box. Have you done this before? No, never. <laughs> You got your spuds? Are you going to put the spuds in later? Yeah, a bit later. Did you get that? <laughs> fire looked fine but we weren't getting the right sort of heat out of it so I've got to pull in a couple of grooves in the bed of the coal um, with the rake um, it just made the difference it's almost like an invisible skin on there it was just holding the heat back belt. oh yeah no no so the belt that this lever here does the sensitivity of the, um, the governor she's obviously completely chilled with you but she's not got the right to say anything to you but does she or he she. She. Does she go everywhere with you? Yeah. Coming out of there? Yeah, there you go. Coming out? Yeah, we've got water both sides. Really ready though, really ready. We're just watching the water gauges fill up with water. We've got the injector running. Okay. So first, first public run today, a um, few little teething problems, nothing serious, kicking ourselves about the big end bearings, but um, if you, you can hear it knocking slightly in the background, but um, it's just, we thought we'd get away with it, but uh, no.
saw it at the um, sort of door set. Door set. I couldn't believe the size of it. Yeah, that door set was like its first out, and then um, obviously here's its second. But this, yeah. this is the first one where we've had it in steam in public. So yeah. we just thought we'd give it a bit of a stick for a couple of days just oh, yeah. to get everything settled down and get, be, yeah. get some of the problems out of the way. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, absolutely. I heard you ran out. Water? Yeah, only, only water in the tank. How much do you need then? 220 gallons. So, uh, if it's working, that's an hour and a half. Yeah, stop it. Next to this. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I shrunk. <laughs> it's, well, it's the first one of all the engines that came back from Argentina. There was a little wave of them. The first one that got restored, they sort of made it anglicised, whereas I'm the first one that's made it as a, as a real deal of what it was when it left the UK back in the 20s to do its bit in Argentina. It's quite, quite cool, really. But no, the, the, the photographers like it, don't they? least have asked us to park it in front of the big house so that means that uh, we've made it into the into the senior league So you're happy it's going well? And, yeah, 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 everything's going well, not too many problems, yeah. few, few snags, so, nothing, nothing but, we might have to polish it, well, another day.
we're going on the road no. with this. Right. One more lock. One more lock? <laughs> yeah, three days at Bedford, cracking. Yeah, really chilled, laid back. Totally different rally to Dorset, which is a bit intense for five days. Family enjoyed it, so that ticks the boxes. Worth the effort. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>